text, praise God. The problem I saw in the text was Jesus Christ. Jesus is the problem in the text. And I begin to think of myself, praise God, God, why would you do this to someone whom you love? You have to understand, praise God, that uh, I, I, it's not the fact that, that Lazarus, Mary, and Martha did not have faith. They had faith. They believed Jesus. They invited Jesus over to their house. When Jesus came, they washed his feet, praise God, and ensured that he had a proper place to sit. And they also fed him. They took care of Jesus. They cared and they loved Jesus. They worshiped Jesus. They knew how to care for the son of son, the son of the living king. Hallelujah. So the problem in the text was not them, for they loved Jesus. And in the time of trouble, the Bible tells us, if we call on the name of the Lord, he will answer. So when they had trouble in their home and Lazarus had gotten sick, they called on Jesus. And Jesus didn't. I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, in this life that we live, my problem with the text is not what to do when Jesus answers my prayer immediately. The problem is, what do I do when I pray and I cry and he has not answered? Okay, me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The information is power and we have information through the word of God. A leadership tycoon, Warren Bennis, once said, we seek to collect information because we have the ability to do so. But we are so busy collecting it that we haven't devised a means of using it. The true measure of any society is not 